This is a Jabsco Par 3 gallon per minute water pump. Pump motor turns here, the diaphragm comes up and down. Sucks water in. In the inlet, out the outlet. This one started leaking. I thought the diaphragm had gone to leaking. Actually, the whole top of the housing broke. So, rather than mess with it, I figured I'd take another pump the previous owner had on board. And uh, I've taken this one apart already to make it easier to figure out what's going on. Sorry for the lighting and the focus issues. Alright, so the motor turns, it moves the diaphragm up and down. The diaphragm, the new here's a new kit. Proper motivation. Um, here's the diaphragm in case that does rip. These are the check valves. They're the same top and bottom, just one points up, one points down. So that's your, your direction. In this case, the inlet is here. The pump pulls up. It, it lifts this diaphragm up. Water pulls in, comes up through here. Goes in through this chamber. Back down through here. And out here. Again, the water is going to push against the diaphragm. The metal, the metal cage appears to be what pulls the, um, the diaphragm, the bottom of the diaphragm. So when it pulls up, it just pulls away from that, lets the water go by it. So that's the, that's the pumping side of it. The bottom side, put one screw back in it, because I didn't want to sit here and screw around like this trying to take out nine of them. And then prying it open with a screwdriver and breaking everything loose. Okay, so here's the the bottom piece that comes with the comes with the uh, kit piece here. So your kit comes with a spare belt, the bottom part, the diaphragm. Now I'm not sure exactly how this thing if it does any flexing. I, I took the pump apart previously when I had a problem with it and this was actually crushed down flat. So this is the bottom and this has um, this plate sealed up against it one way or another and so it um, I don't think any water goes down in the bottom side of it. I think it's only in the top side. And so the water gets to the outlet tubes. Oh, there's a clearance in the top. Okay, that's that's what it is. This is probably just a little bit of um, cushioning. But anyway, that um, there's a clearance between the top of this and the and the inlet and outlet. So some water will store up in there. On one side, we have the threaded hole. This one for your um, pressure switch. The other one isn't for whatever reason. I'm not sure if Jabsco did what they wanted to do. They have their reasons for it. I, I don't know. So anyway, that's, that's pretty much the whole thing. To put it back together, drop in this new part, put your screws back on the, t on the bottom, take out Two screws here, so this top plastic section comes off. Now, this pump, the way it was when I took it apart in my original pump, uh, the motor was actually reversed on here. So I guess it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which way this goes on. It'll work either way. But in my case, I'm going to use the opposite of what I had because I have a um, vegetable sprayer. And that's going to um, prevent the hose, whenever you drop it back down in under the sink, from hitting the belt. Cutting a hole in the hose and cause more problems. <clears throat> but anyway, that's it. Pop these out there. They're in there with um, the seal. You just pop them out. 
I don't, there's no screw. There's no screw to deal with. You just push it out from the bottom and put in a new seal and put the new one in. Make sure you get your your direction correct. This one's going to go this way. <clears throat> and you're pretty much done. Put her back together and go with it. Oh, yeah, take out these two screws I was saying and you can take out um, the nut that holds that um, diaphragm in there and replace a new diaphragm you get a brand new pump. This one's all corroded. It got wet along the way. A little. This boat was in a um, Hurricane Isabel and it had a hole in the bottom of the hull where it landed on a pile. So yeah, some stuff got wet. No big issue. We've been living on it for two years and we're fat, dumb, and happy.